Today's video is a really special one. Oh. Hey, what's up guys? We are at Docs and I'm with head barber, Anna. Hello guys, how are we? It's really good today. Today is grandpa's 80th birthday, oh, so I'm so thinking about getting him a haircut which will look even more handsome. Sounds good. You guys have a pretty close relationship, you and your grandpa? Yeah, grandpa yeah. is truly an inspiration for me. I feel like my sense of humor or my lack of is all from him. <laughs> he's like, yes, no, no, no. He's agreeing. He's yeah. agreeing. Grandpa is definitely a special person for me. Yeah. I would say he's almost like a father for you. Cool. It's interesting that you brought your grandfather because actually my shop is named after Marga. Dr. Guthrie, who was up in Camden, Arkansas. So we named the shop after him as a bit of a homage to him and his spirit. Anna is cutting my grandpa's hair now, so here is a quick montage. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna do some detailing. This is what makes a haircut look like. yeah. My grandma always said that she knew whenever he needed a haircut because of the hair in his ears. My grandfather has a lot of hair in his ears. Your grandfather doesn't. <laughs> you say you yeah. I like the play. Grandpa, you look like a gangster. No dick a dick. No doubt. Alright guys, I have a minute to myself right now before I head to the restaurant. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I feel like when work, personal life, and just like everything is mixed at once, it's like a lot. And I want to make Grandpa happy. I want to also get more shots. We didn't capture the close-ups, but Grandpa was getting really agitated towards the end. It wasn't anything wrong with the shop. It wasn't anything wrong with the barber. Everything was great. It was just he is at a point when he feels irritated. He's like, I gotta go. And we just left. So I'm gonna go back. So the shots with the tools and the close-ups are most likely taken a couple of days after. And I just edited them back in. Arrived at the restaurant. It is a barbecue restaurant. Initially, I wanted to cook for grandpa, but because of my poor cooking skills, I thought that I would take him to Korean barbecue so I can still kind of cook for him, if you know what I mean. Let me show you guys. We'll be back momentarily. Alright guys, that was an excellent meal. I'm on my way to the bank right now to take out some money before grandpa comes back from the bathroom so I can give it to him as the final part of this series where he gets his present. Got the money, got the grandpa. And we rock it. Wait, hold up. Let me show you the setup before this very moment. I managed to find an empty room in this restaurant where I'm gonna prepare grandpa's present. I got him this huge ass yotel. It is probably his favorite breakfast food. The cool thing about this yotel is that it has a pocket right here. I'm gonna unzip it and put in about 10,000 renminbi. <laughs> it's not about this exact 10,000 renminbi. Not a cent more, sorry grandpa. Put that in. What do we have? A 10,000 renminbi yotel. My prediction is that he's gonna be so excited to see the yotel that he's probably gonna be unfazed by the money. All right, wish me luck. I'm going. <laughs> Guys, I was not expecting him being such a fucking gangster just being like, all right, let me put it in my pocket, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> And I'm back at home at last. A bit exhausted, but feeling really fulfilled. Grandpa, you are the most important person in my life. A light, an inspiration, and I can't imagine living my life without you, which is scary because... Nako, bueno. In two days, I'm back to hang up this picture of Grandpa. 